I don't know. Like, why does Pac-Man? Why can Pac-Man right? box? <laughs> why can Pac-Man box? No, we're not talking about Pac-Man. Oh, Cro okay, we're seeing the Kron and the Duck Hunt. So switch from Roy and fun keeping uh, tried and true Duck Hunt. Yeah, so I think I do agree with Carflow going Krom in this matchup over Roy because that means Carflow does not have to be like directly up in Fawn's face uh, to get yeah. you know, to get the combos. The more, the more consistent hitboxes definitely help because Duck Hunt's going to be just naturally wanting to stay away from Krom. So any hit like throughout the sword will help him immensely. Instead of Roy with all, all those sour spots and sweet spots, like kind of messing up his combo game with it. Yeah. Oh. Great, great coverage with the can there. He, he knew that if he directional air dodged the platform, he would get hit. Oh, Woo! scramble situation and Carflow. Carflow able to, to pull it out. Did he, uh, I think he forwarded a back air, correct? Right? Yeah, that was a back air. Just walks right into the can. Oh, another <laughs> jumping right into the can. He's got to be careful, but Cam yeah. won't kill here, and he's looking out for those kill moves for sure right now. Being very careful at ledge. Great dancing blade. Yeah, to, to blaze through the uh, PS2 setup. I feel like I am interested in like why we took uh, PS2, because I really feel like this benefits Fawn so much more than it does Carflow in this matchup because Fawn is going to be able to set up those like obstacle courses with uh, ledge trapping that that they're known for. Mm -hmm. For sure, and these platforms near the ledge, like Ooh. we've already seen him set up the can there. Oh wow! Great Almost DI by Fawn. Mm -hmm. Although that, he's not Roy, that dancing clay would have definitely like been a horrible position for him to be put in. Yeah. Being said though, Fawn is starting to get the percent back into their favor. Okay. Nice back air, a no great back air. He went really deep for that. Mm -hmm. I don't think Fawn was expecting uh, him to go all the way down there off stage, so that was a great like quick little burst option. And something I didn't like think about in this matchup is it seems like uh, Crumb's uh, Uppy, the Soaring Slash or whatever it's called, kind of just neutralizes Can because of how many hitboxes it has. Mm -hmm. I feel like you have to get a pretty specific hit with the can onto Kron to actually hit him. But as we've seen, if you just slash it, it kind of just like throws the can like just oh. gone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's just out of like play, and there's nothing to be like afraid of. Grab by Carflow, but yeah. another can puts him off stage. Oh, that's and a nice tech. Great tech, but not able to tech a second yeah, can though. Yeah, that might have been an untechable too. He was a pretty high percent. So definitely not out of the realm of possibility for mm -hmm. Fawn right now. Yeah, this is basically an even game, and now Fawn taking the lead with those up airs, just keeping Carflow in the air. Wow, he's yeah, catching all is, of his mix-ups. This is kind of where, you know, Krom really starts to crumble in this matchup. Krom does not have the best disadvantage in the business, especially, you know, coming coming down on top of an opponent. If you don't have yeah. a double jump or an air dodge, yeah. then you're just getting caught, especially with, like, super active, like, duck hunt up air or yeah, something like that. Yeah, exactly. He only really has, like, wave bounce, B reverse, like, wait, that dancing blade, but yeah. uh, I haven't really seen too much of that from Carflo, understandably, because he's just trying to rush Duck Hunt, not let him set up too much. F-Till almost taking it for fun. Very dangerous. Wow. Oh, I, no. Wow, the can Don't actually, let this, be it. this could be a, a great reversal and amazing for Carflo. Okay, Fawn wow. is able to make it back. They were not betrayed by the can. <laughs> oh, but once again, he's getting hit by the can. Good position for Carflo. Staying just out of reach for that getup attack, just in case. Yeah. Smart. Yeah, but you could see the awareness from Fawn. Fawn was ready for that, and instead came in with the jumping leg forward. Yeah. The sheriff. The well, sheriff was the one who did it. Just a little too fast. If he shielded or just waited. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yo. <laughs> the little, little salt cam here. I thought that was Fawn dying from Crom dash attack. <laughs> Yeah, I actually, I just saw them run together, and I was like, okay, someone is, someone has to die here. Like, right here, this is, like, such a tight situation. Yeah, especially because I didn't see Fun landing with a hitbox. They were just, like, air dodging to the ground, but no, that was the Sheriff. I think he, Carflow was trying to forward tilt. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he just missed that forward tilt. It was so close. Probably what, frames away. What's funny is I think that may have come down to RNG, because I'm pretty sure that was the fastest gunman that could have come out. Wow. If it was a slow gunman, I think Carflow won that. Yeah, because he wouldn't, he, I don't think uh, Fawn would have had time to shield. Yeah. So he would have just been hit by the fo forward tilt. Damn. That was a crazy game one. It was right down to the wire. Let's see um, how these players respond. Back to PS2. 
I feel like car flow's got to be careful in the air. That's the, the biggest thing I saw. Because he's just getting juggled by these, these back airs and, and then these up airs, the can setups. Lingering there, not getting it. Wow! Just Randy forward just smash. Okay. Got caught at like 70%, and that's a crom with rage. Wow, yeah, that's a lot of damage. And he definitely wasn't expecting it because his DI was like subpar, but who was really expecting that? I think we both got caught off guard from that. And a no. great suicide, too. Carflow is really running away with this game right now. Yeah, I mean, you're trading like a badly used stock for a fresh just like mm. factory new stock like that we take those in this industry. okay let's see what car flow is gonna or let's see how fawn is gonna try to get this damage back but oh my god he nared Ooh. through his can That's great. yeah fawn fawn's gonna have to like really start to slow things down for car flow which is just so difficult car flow such a momentum based oh. player <laughs> wow that was a great town tilt check Tech chase. He down tilted, read the roll in, down tilted again, and got the roll out. Yeah, Fawn even tried to cover themselves with the uh, the can coming in, but it just wasn't <laughs> enough. I think the can was on Krom's side Perfect. this game. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. There's multiple situations where he just like nared through the can or swung through the can, can right here. Save me. <laughs> no. Actually, good swinging the can and duck one too. All right. We got another Game 3 situation here, and I'm really curious what Fawn's going to do, because it seemed like what? Carterflow really understood, um, like, towards the la latter half of that game, how to, like, punish Duckman and how to really, like, just swing and hit him. All right, we do have a small battlefield coming in. I'm pretty sure this is Fawn's favorite stage. We see them counterpicking here, like, pretty much all the time. Okay. Because, I mean... While it doesn't have the, like, length of PS2, I feel like that's kind of even better for Fawn because that's more more of the stage that is actually covered by the platform, which is typically where Fawn, like, plays their game, is, yeah. you know, underneath those platforms and setting things up with, you know, Can, Clay Pigeon, the Gunman. That's true, and plus, if Krom's in the air, Krom just has less, like, I feel like space to move around and try to get back to stage from these up airs and, like, these can setups with the setups like you were talking about. Yeah. Just it's, keeping them up. Especially the way that Fawn, like, plays in, uh, in Advantage, they, like, almost always have a contingency plan where it's, like, if Carflow is above them, then, you know, Fawn is covering one platform and has a can covering the other one. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, pick your poison at that exactly. point. Exactly. You're going to get hit by something. And honestly, I think you might just be better off trading for the can instead of, like, getting smacked by Duck Hunt. Because he can, like, throw you off stage. He can really pay make you pay. Like, right here, let's see what... Avoiding the can. Good dodge. That Sheriff, these cans. There's just so many hip active hitboxes out. Alright, front slash getting Carflow some space. Now Fawn at the ledge. Wow. Great neutral air dodge giving Fawn the space they need to back air for that next mm -hmm. stock. Carflow definitely thought he could forward air or back air him, but then Fawn that just slight, slight micro spacing got was able to hit him with that back air. <laughs> just hitting him with the can. Yeah, trying to use the can to find some space for themselves. Uh, this ledge situation. Just waiting. Wow, that is so. That's such a scary position, though. I completely understand why Fawn was just and, holding shield. And and so much patience for what? You still got F tilted. <laughs> you still got F tilted. At the end of the day. Carflow in that situation, Carflow was definitely just waiting for that a button to be pressed, and he knew a defensive option was coming. But what a ooh, catch what by Fawn! Wow, I feel like. Carflow tried to air dodge too, but he just clipped him with that second to last hit of up air, and that was all he needed. We're seeing these up airs and these backers being the MVP. Whoa. Oh, oh my god. Just barely god. not able to get the second down air. That definitely would have been the set for Fawn. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And a great way to end it out too. Right, Juggling not, into his spoke. Not able to get anything out of the clay pigeon. Carflow has another lease on life, but this percentage just keeps racking up. Okay, okay. Nice gunman. Here comes the can. The can perfectly From spaced. From across the stage. Oh, he got it. He's definitely blessed that it sent him back, but sent okay. him back into an up air. A great frame trap coming out from Fawn. You know, Carflow had to air dodge that can. Put him in the person perfect position to get uh, up aired by Fawn. Wow. Great job. And even after game two, when uh, Carflow seemed like he knew it, he had like, to play around Duck Hunt's 
kind of cans and setups, Fawn just came back and came back stronger than ever. Yeah. Catching him with like two up air kills and uh, I'm I forgot exactly. How, oh, this is the first stock. Let's see how we got the kill. The back air. Yep. It's great. It just felt like Carflow was getting more straight hits while Fawn was actually getting like setups and um, actual like conversions. Yeah, off. a lot more like meaningful hits. You yeah, know? yeah. It's just, I mean, that's the character. That's just Duck Hunt, you know? Like, you have to be able, you have to be on point with those conversions. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to, like, capitalize and get the kill. And even if you can rack up so much damage, it doesn't matter if you can't take the stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great stuff. All right, we have, I see Vivi sitting down. Okay. Versus hero set. Dill. Ooh, this is.